Hey guys, Bike here. So, um, yeah, I'm actually currently live on my Twitch channel, though if you're seeing this video, you're probably not watching me live. That's absolutely fine. I'm trying a different format here, and I just want to do a little recap about the, the first session. We streamed for almost five hours today. It was uh, very nice, and we got a lot of work in. We did not have like a um, a preset path of what we were gonna do. Uh, my my buddies got on and we just went around and we helped each other out. We went and did all our little quests for our characters, and that was a lot of fun. We checked out the malignant uh, tunnels and the malignant hearts and everything. So I just wanted to share some quick uh, thoughts and opinions on that. So the malignant hearts. Uh, so far, they seem okay um i haven't really gotten to use them too much what what i'm mostly using them for right now is the 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 armor because uh they made a change uh this morning that uh every malignant heart now gives you armor which is huge and i think that was a very good change so good job blizzard i'd say the one i use the most right now and as far as I can tell, it's a barbarian one. Is well below um, X number of health, you receive more healing. So you, you know you you start getting chunked down. You pop a potion, you heal really fast. That's nice. Uh, one I'd like to use is this devious heart right here. Your skills have a thirty one percent chance to knock down all enemies for one point two five seconds when that skill's attack speed is higher than. 24 percent well at least in this case it has a range of 35 to 20 um i currently don't have a way to increase the attack speed yet um i still have to go to the dungeon i'm gonna grab the 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 rapid aspect which increases your basic attack speed um and if you throw that on a two-hander even though it's 15 percent, you throw it on a two-hander you get 30 percent. i think that would be nice throw that on uh, right before we're ready for capstone see what this one can do and uh, this one right here after spending 96 fury within two seconds your next two non-basic skills critical strike chances increase by 25 percent. i think this one is pretty good so far um i've gotten a decent amount of use out of it um but honestly i haven't really been paying attention like i said i've just been slotting stuff in just trying to get the armor bonus um so yeah thoughts and opinions on season of the malignant so far is it seems like it's uh pretty cool but um i don't think there's any butts there it seems pretty cool the the xp the XP doesn't seem to be too bad. We we were not doing any of these runs where you um how do I say where uh where you go from this uh, from this stronghold to that stronghold to this to that dungeon, run that dungeon five times. We were just going around, we were just experiencing the what the season had to offer. I would like to farm the malignant tunnel some more. Um so I can give you guys more of an opinion on that. But so far, they seem pretty cool. Um, you know, side note, if you didn't know, you can actually go back and do the tunnel again. You don't have to do it just the one time for the, the seasonal quest. Um, I will say, playing in a group, I did feel the, the buffs they did to monsters to their health. Because the, there was times I felt like I was not doing a lot of damage in dungeons. In the open world, it felt fine. But when you went into dungeons, it was pretty noticeable. Especially when you're playing Barbarian, it's kind of a slow start. Uh, luckily, we had somebody in the party who was playing a rogue. And that was very nice. So, I think that was a good... Um, that was a good come up right there. So the build I'm going with is a completely slapped together Hammer and the Ancients build. So the, the the points you get at the beginning when you when I started in, I had five skill points from Renown, as well as the the five potions that you get from Renown. And so far we've unlocked two doing Renown missions and stuff like that. We've unlocked uh, an additional two more skill points. Uh, I've done a few strongholds. We were going around doing dungeons, trying to get some of the aspects that we needed. I was able to get Hammer and the Ancients up to 7 out of 5. Uh, 
playing this as opposed to playing whirlwind i think it's definitely different and i'm liking it so far and um i haven't really looked up any guides i've just kind of gone off of what i think might work so this build might be pretty bad <laughs> compared to um what what a build guy might do but you know with lunging strike going for that bleed damage and then i i hook that up with the the hamstring to just try and get some slows in there a little crowd control i took two shouts rallying cry and war cry i'm currently in the middle of buffing them up i took leap and i took death blow i did not take an ultimate i'm probably going to be getting rid of death blow soon but the reason why i'm doing that is i'm going for walking arsenal I want to see how well I can utilize this. So basically my, my basic attack is with my two swords and my hammer of the ancients is hammer. And so both leap and death blow right now are using my great sword to, to proc that. So I have two different ways to proc the, the, the two hander. They, they both have cooldowns. Now death blow has, um, the option to, um, death blow if you kill an enemy it resets its cooldown so that's kind of a reliable way but i i semi-reliable way i should say there's definitely been a few times where i missed an enemy or hit an enemy and they live by just that much um i like having leap personally because i think it looks cool the mobility is nice and then you get a reliable way to get uh fury since i'm getting fury from leap I use death blow as a way to get just on demand almost on demand that's a theme there with death blow almost on demand berserking which is an extra 25 percent damage increase um if i go for an ultimate it's probably going to be call of the ancients but i might also do uh wrath of the berserker uh when we're getting close to capstone i'll see how well i'm doing if i feel like my build doesn't have what it takes i'll probably just go look up a guide for hammer of the ancients but so far having a lot of fun and uh yeah so anyway thank you for making it out and watching the video hopefully uh we can be uh, i would by the end of the weekend would like to be in world tier three maybe getting close to world tier four so i think that would be a lot of fun and yeah anyway you guys take care have a good one. Cheers.